Good morning, YouTube Relators. We're going to do a little tour here of what I done yesterday. I'm not gonna do nothing today because I'm still kind of tired from it. Uh, you can see the the split flower is here, and put my little dash in there and made a radio cover. Put a, the old Spitfire Four emblem on it because I don't listen to the radio much. And I got to play with the clutch a little bit more and do some stuff and put the top on it. But it's doing well. Doing well. And uh, there's the business end of the Herald. And here's some loving I got for the Herald. Uh, this box arrived yesterday, I reckon. And uh, let's see, we got a mirror, ferret, at least one, and we got bulkhead seal, goes against the bulkhead to the hood when you close it, or the bonnet. We got this amazing thing, this is a front windshield rubber, they're kind of expensive. And thermostats and the hose deal and this stuff here that comes from the water pump to the back which rots out. Learned that on the Spitfire. You need to have them replaced. This is some engine gaskets and pins for the emblems and stuff. And what's in that big black bag is my beautiful bumpers. The little rubber bumpers that goes on these things so they will sure make it look better and these here I got didn't know what they were but I hoped I knew what they were I got two of them they're pretty cheap I say cheap uh, the cheap is pretty cool this uh, this whole box is about 400 US dollars and in England, it's about, I don't know, 10 pounds. But what are you going to do? they got good stuff, and until I can figure out how to move over there, that's the way it is. Come here, Harold. I needed these to be this. And by Hunch Granny, that's what they is. i got a pair of them. Pretty sure Scott Best is making these things and then sending them out to his loved ones. But anyway, uh, let me do this. The old thing was stuck, the engine was stuck, it wouldn't turn over. So I uh, was afraid something was amiss up here. So I pulled the head off and done some checking on it, and it was fine. And uh, I'm thinking that the, uh, the fuel pump they had on it has got the wrong arm, and it was stopping it from turning some. All I know is when they put this new fuel pump on it, it quit running. And before it was a running, a running vehicle. So now it does this. And when you jizz it up a little bit, it says it's thirty thousands. And uh, the old things, I don't know if that's good or bad. Y'all look, y'all tell me. I'm going to put some rings in it and some bearings and a new timing chain. It's under all this stuff here. And uh, go from there. Just do a quickie. And the head, going to have the head done. And it looks like the exhaust, I don't know what you're looking at. Looks like the exhaust right there is kind of sunk in. And that one looks kind of flat. When I was doing heads, that was a bad deal. 
you can see how far this one's the intake sticking out but that's the way the world twirls okay so much for Harold thank you very much appreciate it uh, I'm a little moggy it's here looking really dirty it will get cleaned up got this stuff up in the air high as I thought I could get it so I could get my fat belly in it under it and pull the wheels off of it and looked at it and it's got this one here rubber, where the front where the spring perch fits it's a little bit crusty tender as Scott says and both of the front frame rails but all this stuff this I don't know if you can see that. This thing right here is holy. And somebody has clapped a couple pieces of metal on the other side. Which I'll have to undo and redo. Which is no problem. No problem. But from what I'm reading and where all my buddies are telling me, this little engine will run circles around this one and even that one so uh, and that one I had it up past 70 yesterday day before yesterday and uh, it really surprised me with this engine the new engine the new rebuilt engine this one here I messed around probably can't see it but I got some of these off flea bay can you see it? I don't know. So I may use them, I may not use them. I don't kind of like stuff go back uh, normal. Since this car is, is pretty normal as far as being modified, I like to keep it stock as I can. And the goofy steering wheel is going to go. But that's the way the world twirls. And uh, let me get you over here just for a minute. Uh, after all these cars are moved, I can get to my desk. I use this desk a lot. It holds your feet up in the air really good. So let me get you on this stand and we'll... I hadn't messed with the, with the thing. We'll do a a perusal of what it should have some weird stuff in it in the desk this is probably going to be a bad thing since I can't see what's going on hmm hang with me boys and girls maybe that'll be good this thing adjusts too for some reason. I'm gonna flink a flinking flashing light. Anyway, let's uh let's do a tour of that. Of course it's heavy metals what I named my first army truck. Y'all are in the out west it's supposed to be in the museum. Uh, in the uh, the uh, General Patton Museum there. Of course, it's a Vietnam War era army truck. I don't know why it's there, but it's supposed to be there. And let's see. Got some junk in here. I got plenty of twisted ties. And you need your golf ball. Some antique cow chrome centers. That don't have the wheel. My gold prospector association sticker and hat thing and all sorts of stuff. Which everybody does things like that. Uh, got my radio that don't work. RCA means you know. Got a baby piston in case somebody wants one. Mortar shells. 
Dishonest John. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Look at this. I'm going to send this to George, bless his heart. And he's, he, I want him to keep this one. I had a 60 model Starliner, which looked kind of like that. It was made 13 days after my birthday. And hey, it's all in here. Cool. And uh, I thought it would be the closest thing to having a Batmobile. Of course, every kid in the world wanted the Batmobile, and I'm no different. And I built this thing up black. All that new stuff took me about six, seven years to get all the stuff. And uh, I put a 428 in it. Had the the period 1960 uh, tri power setup with the correct carburetors and everything. There's a little bitty frog in here. You better run because there's snakes everywhere. And uh, I had some cast iron NASCAR headers that they had. I didn't know they had, but that's, I had put them on there and uh, had some dumps that you'd unscrew. I think they're like four inch pipe caps and you just unscrew them. I mean, it would get loud in a hurry. Put a Positrack grind in it and done some other little goofy suspension stuff and it was fast. But it weighed three tons. But it was fast. And it was black. And it had fins and it was just a huge lumbering car. And then I got on to something else after I got it ready. And uh, it left, and along with a few other my cars, my race cars and stuff, when a divorce happened. God bless her. And uh, let's see. I think we got a rat in here. Don't we know no rats because there's too many snakes in here. Seeing two or three, and there's one dead. Maybe this is really going to be a sucky video. Uh, this is left over from when I wired this building. I think I wired the house too out of this stuff. To me, it was cheaper to buy a gross than it would be to buy a 10 or 20. And I got, I got enough cable ties to uh, take the world over. I sent a few of these stickers out to my buddies. This is back when I was uh, had my hand in removing some asbestos and stuff. What else can happen to me? They've since regulated that stuff. Here's a Jeep bolt. And, oh yeah, more cable ties. Plug-ins and boxes and receptacles. I think I'll take that home. Temperatures and 10,000 volt magnetic contactor something or other. If you're going to do something, go as wild as you can. Oh, light bulbs in this one. And Drill bit. This is a we use these these in sheetrock. Drill a hole and it's got jiggles on the side, and you just drill drill the hole and it cuts on the side too. There are lots of light bulbs if somebody needs them. Oh, here's here's a an idea for you not to do. This is kind of exploded. This went through me. And in the wall, and in the floor, and my bench. Uh, you don't put one of these things on an air drill that turns like 7 million RPMs. Even though it does say black and decker. Stupidity reigned in my yard, and in my house. And still does. What's that? Okay, uh. You always need a no smoking sign. And 
safety glasses. Need one of them everywhere. Uh, hearing protection, yeah, huh? Crossy stuff. Woohoo! This is a pride and joy. This is a parts and restoration guide for a Jeep, Jeepster. I had a F715 there for a while. FC 170, I'm sorry. FC 170. And uh, this came with it. Forward control. Okay, that. That up there, don't need that right now. Rah! Okay, I'd like to talk a little bit about issues. Now, in my day, in my day, you didn't have issues unless you prescribed to them. I used to prescribe to this boy a hundred years ago. Issues everywhere. I mean, one of these things, by the way, I didn't get my picture taken because I don't like it. I mean, this one too, JP Magic. I don't even know if they make that anymore. But, these are all issues. These are issues. There's a number one Hawkman. There's the first one he put out. There's Secret Wars. All these are issues. There's a Conan the Librarian. Oh, sorry if I rubbed your boobs there. But the problem is, when I was young, you had issues. You paid for them. And now, if you've got a problem, they call it an issue. Now, do you pay for your problems, or what is the deal? Do your problems come in the mail? These come in the mail. Look at there, I got the gargoyle in there. Oh, I hope he's got some britches on this time. Anyway, the difference between issues and problems is a bunch. You can still go ahead and say you got issues, but it ain't right. Issues is this yard. Now the problem with that is up to y'all. That's the problem of issues. Issues and fish issues are different. I'm gonna put this back in and then I'll put a car in the way or some junk and I'll never get in here again another 10 years. Well, I, that's about it for me. <clears throat> so I'll say I love ya. And good night. Yeah. Quit, quit, quit. Will you quit? Quit. That burn.